what if the school finds out about this? What if my parents find out about this also? Because my parents didn't even know. But eventually, like, one day I just showed my parents my TikToks. They, they actually asked me if I was gay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Zaddy's Talk to you podcast. Today we have a special guest. But before we do that, if you want to go check out our other episodes on YouTube, please go over there and subscribe. But other than that, let's start and uh, please introduce yourself, our guest. What's up, Zaddies? Um, I'm Frog Dog. You know, I just suck Joe, Joe Biden's. <laughs> yeah. And um, <laughs> I have over uh, 69 billion um, kids in my basement right now. And yeah, what's up? I Hello, that's cool. Frog. That's, that's cool, Frog. If you could just hook me up with one of them kids, then you know we have a sol- <laughs> we have we have a solid relationship. But yeah, so yeah, I got you. Essentially, for the people at home, Frog Dog is a TikToker who has thirty two thousand, thirty two thousand, I think, uh, followers on TikTok. Followers. He's been uh, he's a content creator in the Philippines. He's been blowing up like crazy. So yeah, Frog. Essentially, how you been, man? How you been? Um, good, man? No. I've been chilling, you know, um, trying to suck more dick. Um, trying to, uh, you know, grow my TikTok. I, I'm currently shadow banned right now, so. Oh, damn. My doesn't up, yeah. And I got a post ban, so I'm banned until um, next month. Yeah. You're banned until next month? Uh, yeah. Damn, did they tell you what? I mean, it's pretty obvious what for, based on your content. Yeah. But, um. <laughs> What, but like, what do you think? What was the video that they reported that got you banned? Well, let's see here. Um, I honestly think it's the, the one with the glasses, you know, the, the reflection of oh, the you know, reflection, the, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, and one of those. And then, one of my latest TikToks, um, this one, the one with the TV, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, oh, that you know, one, yeah, oh, wow, so. Essentially, what we wanted to ask here for so our show is all about um, asking like you know some some influencers how they got their come up and just like telling some funny stories like on their way up. So just just tell us, bro, how you got started with this whole TikTok thing. Well, honestly, uh, I, I saw TikTok as a joke. You know, like everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, you have TikTok! You're so you're so weird." You know, in school, and then. Now I got addicted to the app and then I just started making some random TikToks and then suddenly one of my videos um the the switch and the S-ing your sister it suddenly got like 100k views and I was like holy holy crap man I think I can like actually start something cuz I'm actually getting followers and views and then I posted another video and then it got like 50k and then it just kept continuing and then I was like holy crap I think I might actually like do something with this and uh yeah and then in school like people were like kind of like notice like starting to notice they were like holy crap i see you in my for you page you're tiktok famous all this and that and then i was like i started getting scared because what if the school finds out about my tiktoks right they might like you know kick me out and stuff and yeah so um i tried hiding my tiktoks changed my username uh to Hacho Yo Yo right now in Frog Dog so that they can't track me and yeah that's about it for now yeah all right so wait so they know like so so they know if if your name was Frog Dog like there would be like they would track you down and stuff yeah like if because my old name was like my real name like my real name was just there in TikTok and then oh, I changed okay. it up when I started getting views and followers because i was like what if the school finds out about this what if my parents find out about this also because my parents didn't even know but eventually like one day i just showed my parents my tiktoks they they actually asked me if i was gay because my 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 content's full of sus stuff and i thought i'm not gay it's you know it's it's all for it's all for the tiktoks it's all for showing wait so like did they get mad at you or anything Did they? Oh, oh, damn! No, he's cutting out. Hello, hey, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, it's, my it's, Wi-Fi died. I, I think the FBI tried tracking me. <laughs> I was. Like, 
it's a, it's all right, bro. Um, but what I was saying earlier, what was like, were your parents like concerned with the type of st- type of stuff you were making? No, it's because I'm I'm actually like this at home, and even at school. That's why like every year in school, I always have something with the disciplinary office and stuff. Like I I always do pranks with my teachers, and you know they get mad at me. Like I had a Chinese teacher, right? And then I started swearing in Filipino because. She didn't understand it. So, so I was like, yo, class, let's all shout putang ina. So we were all shouting putang ina. And then um, somebody videoed it. And then somebody snitched with the teachers. Then I got caught. Then I got disciplinary warning. Damn, bro. That ain't cool. Damn, that ain't snitches, cool. I know, right? Bro. Hell snitches, man. All right. And then, hey, yeah. Bro, you finished with school, though. You finished yeah, I'm high finished with school. Hour, yeah, I just finished high school. That's dope. That's dope. All right. I need over. The hell, the hell, life is over. Yeah, fact. I, I hate school, man. You gonna yeah. go to college or no? I just like the you, kids you at school. <laughs> um, bro, you, um, bro, you, you going to college or no? Oh uh, yeah, I'm going to college. Like, but if I feel like dropping out, then I'll, I'll just drop out, you know, and do the stuff that I want to do. Okay. Because yeah, All right. I got plans. I got plans. That's nice. Right, we'll get, so we'll, like, okay. Oh wait, go yeah. ahead, Connor. We'll get back. We'll get into the plans in a sec. But like, yeah, Tiano, did you want to say something? Yeah, is there like like a, a strat to like like a strategy to get viral videos? Like, do you have a certain routine or strategy to get your videos out there? Well, honestly, um, I I think just keep posting consistently, and yeah, I think that's mostly it. Cause like the reason like I I think why my video started blowing up is because not lots of people post content like mine, but just like dark humor and like you know, doing those actual pranks in real life because, you know, nowadays people post fake pranks, you know, I want the real pranks, like, the people yeah. I look up to, like, Nuck Boys, um, if you know Pink Guy, like, he's not Joji, but he used to do um, you know, crazy pranks before, and I was like, holy shit, this is actually funny, I want to do this one day, and then, you know, I just started doing it, then, yeah, I just started right. posting, yeah. Well, damn, that's dope, man, I gotta say. Yeah. Um, that's real nice. But anyways, we just want to like look back on like some of your TikTok videos and uh, see if there's any like, what was I going to say? Like, like any, well, like what your reaction was when the video got like famous and stuff. So first video here, this is the first, hold on. This is the first video that blew you up. I, hold on. Where is it? Okay. This one, this one here. Oh okay. my gosh. <laughs> first video that. that blew you up. Look at the hair. Look, look the at the hair. Oh my man's, gosh. Man's, the man's, man's, got the, man's got the middle part and everything. Yeah. I actually regret cutting my hair now. <laughs> <laughs> it said bomb as it said for the people that can't. I should wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me stop. Let me stop share and uh, let me stop share and turn on audio. My bad people. My bad people at home. <laughs> I can't. I can't edit this part actually. Hold on. Um. All right. Let's get back into it, bro. Why is my computer tweaking? Uh, my computer screen is frozen, bro. What the? <laughs> oh my god. Frozen. Oh, card? for computer. Oh, for, for computer audio. Okay, so I need to reset something from my computer audio. So, um, we're just gonna hear without audio. It said bomb has been planted there. <laughs> now, now what? Now what's your um? What was your reaction? What was, what was your react? So, what was the process behind making that video, bro? So, um, I f- I first found the sound, okay, and I was okay. like, hmm, what can I do with this sound? So, um. I was looking at the effects, testing some effects, and then, you know, I just placed it there, video myself, and then just post it in TikTok. I didn't even think that it would blow up, honestly. Damn, so, so, then, you, like, so you didn't do anything with, like, the caption or anything? Like, to um, change it up? I think, I think I just put my usual captions, which are hashtag for you page, hashtag FYP and stuff. And then I just fell asleep that night. And then when I woke up, I was like, holy fuck, why does it have like 200k views already? I was like, 
whoa, this is my fastest growing TikTok. And then my friends started messaging me. They and started like, messaging me. They were like saying like, oh, holy crap, dude, you're, you're, you're becoming TikTok famous. You're getting like uh, 5K followers like per, per hour or something like that. Jesus. Then, yeah, just 5K just, per hour. Yeah. 5K that, per hour. That, that's how I went from um, like from 2K to like 20K and just like Jesus. Uh, in a fast amount of time. Yeah. And then, yeah, Damn. just kept growing and growing. Now it's like, holy shit. That's I think wild, I should actually do more. Yeah. Oh but then it stopped God. after a while. That's true. Yeah. I don't know what's with TikTok's with this, algorithm. It's with, weird. With this with the sus content, I'm pretty sure like yeah, no, it's like, they'd be they'd be all up on you. Um yeah. but then second thing we wanted to react to was this one more in terms of like not really necessarily how it went viral, but like we just wanted to like ask a couple questions for this video. Okay. Wrapping my tornus tortoise with my beanie this is pretty recent actually you can see from the hair um but let's check I it am. out <laughs> um first question is where in the world did you get this idea from bro um so um as i mentioned before i watched a video of a uh, pink guy uh he, he had a hamster right filthy frank right he had a hamster then he put it in his sock and then he just kept doing like that with the sock and then he threw the sock away and kept hitting the sock on the table, like hitting it everywhere. And now I just kept laughing. I was like, holy shit, I think wait, I should do that. Wait, so what's the did you actually put the tortoise in the beanie? Oh no, I put I, I put the put an eraser inside. All right, thank God, God bro. Because I was about to what say you, my question is what you why you just have a random tortoise lacking in your house? Oh wait, why is it just tortoise? It's here. Hey, what's his name? What's his hey. name, bro? It actually has no name. I, I actually didn't know what to name it at all when I got it. So, yeah, it's, it's just there. Jesus, Jesus Christ, bro. Um, like, I don't even, I don't even, like, you know, pay attention to it. Like, my mom just bought it. You were like, oh, it's for good luck. And I was like, oh, okay. It's for good luck. It's for good luck. It's for good luck. All right. But um, before we talked about, like, how you have some, like, stuff planned in the business for the future and stuff like that so yep. um you know me i don't tiano doesn't know like frog dog too well um because he's been the if people don't know tiano's been in the u.s for like the past what was it two months my guy uh yeah two 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 and a half months yeah he, he's months. been he's been in the u.s for the past two and a half months so he hasn't haven't had a lot of like caught up with things that happen here in the philippines where we where we at right now um but frog dog you know we found this. We found his TikTok, and we're we're boys now. Um, and he's setting us up with like an internship at a restaurant in the Philippines called Sweet Ecstasy. If yes, you guys, sir. our local, our local viewers, um, if you don't know what that is, search it up. They make some great burgers. You know, you already know the vibes. Um, burgers and wings. Burgers all and wings. Long. All day, all day long. Yes, sir. That's my type. We even of, got. We even got fries. That's my. That's my type of vibe right there. That's my type yeah, of vibe right there. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. Um, but. You're so you're obviously franchising it. Um, and you have and you were talking to us to before, you had a lot of connections to um Titan, Big Boy Chang as well, who's like a really popular sneaker collector in the Philippines, yeah. over 200 k followers, um, yeah. verified, and also sweet ecstasy now. So how did you get into like um the Marketing franchising scene? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Well, honestly, it's like from my parents because they started franchising and i was like yo i want to get i want to like it, i got so interested because i i kept going out with my my parents like in in like when they go to the gyms because they franchise like anytime fitness and stuff so yeah i was just looking around and what they were doing and how the business works and i just got interested in it and i was like yo i want to hop on in you know all right yeah. so so how does it work like the franchising like can you just elaborate more on that so like, you have to like uh place a share also then then you guys like have to like um because they're they're different franchisers like there's there's lots of people in one franchise that you know put the share in the business so that i can keep it running you feel me so um you guys put a share and then you guys have to have meetings uh look for a place where you can place it and then um 
look for uh, employees and stuff and then, you know, training and then internships are also about to be available in other franchises. All right. So that, yeah. You go, you go hook up, you go hook us up, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. You're going to, you're going to hook me, um, Ibrahim and Arva. Shout out to Arav. Um, but do you think we could get paid though, my guy? Or like, uh, I mean, I'm pretty like, sure you can, like, for sure. Like, I think that's how Ibrahim, are you hearing this, bro? We can get paid. But first, but first, I, I, you guys need to like go through this training stuff, and then oh, yeah. you guys have to pass a test to be oh, able to oh, yeah, oh, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah that's oh, how yeah. it is. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Tiana, are you down to hop on on this like internship flipping burgers, my guy? Bro, I, I'm already a great chef, so oh, uh, that's you know, I, I would. I, I saw your I saw your film video, bro, with the you flipping burgers. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, I mean, bro, you already know the vibes. The zaddies are gonna take over the kitchen. That's just what we do. If actually, for sure, for sure, bro. We 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 were we were thinking about this. Like me, and, I think me and Ibrahim were like, I mentioned this to Ibrahim, but while I was thinking, since you know you guys love our content so much, we wanted to add more variety. So in the future, we might have vlogs. Stay tuned for that. Vlogs. Make sure, yeah, make, make sure make sure make sure hit subscribe for that. Um, so yeah, franchising is a really, really interesting business. Um, actually, last question I wanted to ask today. So obviously, um, pretty big big day in music. Kanye West. Yeah, Kanye West. Uh, Kanye West had his second listening party for Donda. What was your thoughts on the album, Frog Dog? Well, you know, it's actually pretty fire. I got a huge ass from it, you know, listening to Kanye's Big Black. Um, you know, it just made me want to um, go for Kanye's da- daughter. Yeah, I, I'm, no, I'm Joe. I'm <laughs> North? <laughs> What's her name? North? Northwest? Chicago West? Yeah, there's, there's two of them. You know? I'm joking. I'm joking, bro. I'm going to catch a case here. <laughs> let's hope not, bro. We got yeah, we gotta, we, we gotta to make sure this episode gets some clout. But yeah, I mean, the when I was listening to it, my, guy, my guy's got like some stacked features on there, bro. Dude, the features are insane, dude. Like, like um, crap. Travis, Jay-Z. Kid Cudi? Yeah, he just got Kid Cudi today. Yeah, dude. It's like, um, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. But when I was, when I was listening to it, you know, since Kanye is like such a goaded rapper, that's like when I was listening to Donda, honestly, it's like B tier for Kanye, don't you think? Like, I feel like I like his old album better. Yeah, like, like obviously, me and me and Ibrahim agree that the dark, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy is like the greatest hip hop album. It's, it's probably the best album ever. Yeah, it's we think the we, we think it's a, we think it's the best. Uh, you know, like album of all time. Um. So that's so that's obviously an S tier, uh, and then you have some stuff like graduation. Graduation was a banger as well. Uh, was, I like late registration. That was like one of my favorites because I love the song "Heard Him Say." Oh, uh, one of my favorite Kanye songs. You know the transition from the intro to "Hear Heard Him Say" with the "Wake Up, Mr. West, bro. Oh yeah, 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 bro. That's a that's a whole that's a whole vibe. The yeah. Thing is, thing is, though, like one of my favorites is like. 808 and heart 808 and heartbreaks because without that album bro like juice lil uzi drake travis they wouldn't exist yeah dude because because kanye like really took that auto-tune sound out of them you know you know what i mean like yeah he, he, it's like he pure invented, talent dude like he took what pure t-pain talent. did with auto-tune and he just like he just killed it but yeah i mean also going back to like donda and stuff people are saying oh they don't they wouldn't like release ever like you know Kanye is just like leading us on or something like that like Kanye is just sounding like some toxic girl bro right they're, tr- they're trying to treat Kanye like some toxic girl leading trying to lead them on or like something bro but um obviously you know Kanye's only delayed this album for like two three weeks right so it's yeah. obviously it's obviously gonna like release because Life of Pablo was delayed like a year and a half because he had to change so much of it I don't think he's gonna del- be delayed that much what do you think? Um, well, I mean, like, if you check the website, like his merch website, he was selling this shirt and a, a digital album for like ten bucks or something like that. Yeah, exactly. And he has and he, he has like, all he has all the sons songs done already. He's selling merch. Yeah. He's locked himself in the stadium. Weeks. 
locked himself for in the stadium for like so long, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. What if he, if he if he does what he did to Yandi, which he never released oh, yeah. at all? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be mad. That, that, be that mad. would suck. Um okay. Anyways, um, I think we're gonna wrap up this episode of the podcast here. We had our boy local TikToker, you know, oh, up and coming TikTok star frog dog in the building. We talked about his up and coming TikTok fame, how people in school viewed him, and also like, you know, a little bit of Kanye in there. Cause you know, Kanye is like one of the ghost men. Anyways, we gonna yeah, sign off. We're gonna sign off here, people. Uh thank you for watching. If you want to feel inspired, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So yeah, see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Peace out.